morning, good evening, good afternoon, good day to you folks. Thanks for joining me in this episode of Matt's Red Show. I'm excited about this episode. Um, I'm doing a little pilgrimage today. I'm doing a little history work uh, and going all around. Some of you may not know this, but in Minnesota, Minneapolis, St. Paul is the boyhood home and area where Charles Schultz grew up. He grew up in St. Paul, Minneapolis. He was born in Minneapolis, and he moved to St. Paul, and he grew up in St. Paul. Um, and we are on his very, this very street is the street, McAllister Street, where his boyhood home was, 473 McAllister Street. And I'm about to show you and reveal to you the boyhood home of Charles M. Schultz. Really cool. I love about about uh, Charles Schultz and, and just about the Peanuts characters is just how relaxing, not only entertaining and funny were they to watch, but how incredibly like relaxing and just almost soothing and almost healing it was to watch these cartoons and these kids with these huge heads um, just hanging out with their families. Um, and where were the parents? The parents were never around. It was always wah, 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 wah. If there was any adults going you know, in the episodes, they were just like wah 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 wah. So it was just, it was just, it was, I just love those cartoons. They were, they're amazing. So. Here it is, folks. The boyhood home of Charles M. Schultz. And not only are we going to show you this home, which it, here it is. Ta-da! <laughs> um, but we are going to go all around Minneapolis, St. Paul. I've got a huge list. There's literally hundreds of characters. Of Linus, of Lucy, of Peppermint Patty, of, of uh, Snoopy, of all of them. Woodstock. Woodstock. They're all over Minneapolis and St. Paul, just scattered about, sprinkled all over the city. Little statues of these guys that, that were created um, and painted by different people and different companies sponsored them. And, and it's kind of a celebration of Charles Schultz. So it's really cool. We're going on a pilgrimage today. Come with me, folks, on a pilgrimage all around St. Paul, Minneapolis to find as many of these characters as we can find. And have yourselves a wonderful time. Charles Schultz, boyhood home. Pretty cool. So thanks for joining me on this episode of Mass Red Show. Let's get on with it. I got my list here, cruising through the neighborhood here. I got my list right here of all of them. I, I harvested this list last night, looked them all up online, each one almost individually. Um, somebody had to put them on a Facebook page and so I looked them all up there, then I put them all on a nice little list. Took forever. We're just gonna see how many we can find, guys. Let's go. There's the first one. We spotted him. Alrighty, guys. We have to be quiet because we're on a golf course. So we don't want to ruin anybody's swing. But we've reached our first Charlie Brown. And he's wearing a hat, kind of like mine. Which is why I'm wearing this hat, by the way. It's because it reminds me of the hat that Charlie Brown wore in the Christmas episode. Um, so we're gonna, here he is, the very first one. He looks a little weathered. Buddy Chuck. All right, one down, about a zillion to go. All right, let's go to our next one. Got our next one, six minutes away. Apparently this next one is at the Plaza Exceptional Apartments. Apparently it's right outside the door there, so let's go take a look. Looks like pretty exceptional apartments to me. Oh, there he is, right off the bat. There he is, cool. Ta -da. The second Chuck. The two, just the two Chuck. He's very sporting, uh, <laughs> cute. He's sporting a uh, Minnesota American shirt. What up, Chuck? You having a good day, buddy? waiting to greet the people as they come home to their exceptional apartment. <laughs> their hands just look so bizarre. One, two, three, four, five fingers. That just looks so weird. Don't worry, Chuck. Still love you, buddy. Number two is done. Hey, while I'm doing this, um, take notes. Which ones are your favorite? And then leave a comment below which one you like the best. Maybe we'll do a contest on who 
has got the best one, and then I'll email the people that you vote for, and uh, we'll let them know. We'll show them the video. It'll be cool. All right, let's go find the next one. All right, gang, I got our next one. I found it. It's about 13 minutes away. Let's go check them out. A quick pit stop. I just was driving through the neighborhood here and saw this sweet looking house. So there it is. I just wanted to document this house because dang, dude, that is like some Scooby Doo house stuff right there. Like, hey, Scoobs, would you go in that house for a Scooby snack? Oh, oh. Two Scooby snacks? Oh, oh. Three Scooby snacks? Real way. did let me know that they're sending him up north to get him fixed. It's all styrofoam here, coming apart here. Don't worry, Charlie, you're gonna get a new hat soon. Look at this. What's this? It's like a, a garage built into the side of the cliff. Okay. All right, guys, I found my next one. It's just three minutes down the road, it's still on Cesar Chavez Street. So this one may have a mustache too. Let's go check it out. El Frito Marcado. Dude, this is Linus here. He's got the he's got the poncho slash blanket. Nice, we got a Linus. Sweet. What's up, Linus? I think it's Linus. Missing a finger. This poor little finger. Poor little finger came out. He needs a little help too. I like it. I like the international flair. Flavors of life. A little variety. A little diversity. It's good stuff. <laughs> this is awesome. Alright gang, say goodbye to Linus. Bye Linus. And we will go to our next spot. Nice, you guys, I found one that's two minutes away. Count them, two. Count them. One, two. It's a good thing I put down my middle finger first, otherwise that would have been bad. So you know how I was all like, I wonder what the caves are on the side of this mountain. Well, here's another one. And there's the next character, the next Charlie Brown character. And it says, Washa Street Caves. Apparently, it's like a big tourist thing. I didn't even know about it. That's what's cool about doing Matt's Red Show. It gets me out of the house, gets me going on adventures. I get to find cool stuff like this. Check this place out. Built into the side of the, the mountain. More caves. I sense another cave episode coming up. Maybe in the near future. But first, let's go take a look at Snoopy. You know what? I bet I know why he's wearing a pinstripe suit. I just thought of this. There's a lot of mob history around here. There's like a lot of mob history. And I should do an episode on the mob and St. Paul because there's St. Paul right there literally we're like right down we're just south of downtown St. Paul and like there was some serious mob activity going on so I bet you anything that Snoopy's wearing a pinstripe suit because maybe Snoopy's in the mob I don't know Snoopy you been in the mob he does have that kind of mobster stash going on maybe anyway this place looks cool these nice pinstripe suit with with the duct tape, Aww, all these guys are, the winter's pretty rough around here in Minnesota and they're pretty rough on these characters, but poor little no, gee. He's got a cute little hat. I like your hat, buddy, I like your hat. I just got a delicious chai. Seriously, this is a delicious chai from this place coffee latte place. I don't even know what it's called. It's next to the Wabasha Street Caves and there was a girl in there who said that um, she has like 500 comic books of the old Peanuts characters. Um, 
Oh, it's Grumpy, Grumpy Steve's Coffee and Belgian Waffles. I'm gonna try a Belgian waffle next time. But I just have my Mexican food, so now I've just got my chai. Do or do not, there is no chai. <laughs> I keep working my way closer and closer to downtown Minneapolis, St. Paul. Not Minneapolis, downtown St. Paul. And um, we'll be there soon, so let's go see how many characters we can find downtown St. Paul. Mmm! Mmm! Chai! All right, gang, got my next coordinates. We're going to 33, 33 West 7th place, St. Paul. Looking for a Snoopy on a doghouse. Snoopy on a doghouse. Snoopy? <laughs> And I recognize Mickey's Diner from such movies as Jingle All The Way and also some of the Mighty Ducks movies too. So I'm gonna have to do an episode just on Mickey's Diner alone. There's a lot of history there sometime. So look forward to that one, a little spiel. Maybe I've already made it. If you're watching this video in the future, like a year or two from now, then maybe I've already made that video and you can watch it right now. But what I, as it is right now, as I'm shooting this, I haven't made it, so sorry guys, you have to wait. Mickey's Diner. Arnold Schwarzenegger chased what's his name Sinbad out of there and down this road right here to the radio station looking for the Turbo Man dolls. But we're not looking for Turbo Man dolls today, folks. No, sir. We are looking for Charlie Brown and the Peanut Gang. Where are they? There it is, folks. 33 West 7th place. So, according to my Snoopy senses, He's over here somewhere. Oh, there he is. There he is. Sleeping. I think he's asleep. We caught him asleep. There he is. Sitting on a sandwich doghouse. I bet they sell sandwiches here. <laughs> what you looking at up there, Snoopy? The sky. <laughs> What happened to your belly? <laughs> I, think, I think something jumped out of your stomach there. Was that the uh, alien? Woodstock. Woodstock. This one's great because it's got Woodstock on them. Mm. Yummy. This place, this place is always packed. Every time I'm in here, it's just been packed with people. I think they've got like tons of people in here just all the time. It's a really cool spot. It's definitely a must come and see if you're in St. Paul. You get to see Lucy and Snoopy in Woodstock outside. And then you can come get some delicious treats for your tum tum. The size of that job right here. Woodstock we've seen. I don't know how many Woodstocks there are out there. That might be one of the only Woodstocks, so better say goodbye to Woodstock. Bye bye Woodstock. Bye bye Woodstock. <laughs> These ones are in pretty good shape. Here's the landmark building downtown St. Paul. It's a landmark and it's a building. And guess what it's called? The landmark building. But guess what's next to it? Hiding over there. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's, that's adorable. That's adorable. I guess technically it's the landmark center. My mistake. It's still a building though. Uh, Linus and Sally. Sally was her name. Cute little Sally. These ones are all bronze. This 
way. Lucy and Schroeder. <laughs> Lucy always pining for Schroeder's attention. Look at Charlie Brown hanging out with all the locals right there. That's awesome. Charlie Brown finally getting some attention here. Uh, getting some love from the locals. <laughs> you look happy there, Chuck. You look happy. Snoopy's in there. He's under all the backpacks. Just keeping this nice and safe. Are you joking? I'm an expert. Have fun hanging out with Charlie Brown. <laughs> There's two more statues around this area that I'm in right now. I can't seem to locate them though. We'll find them though. We'll find them. Found them. Um, There's Marcy and Woodstock reading. And right behind them. Peppermint Patty, kicking the football. Good. <laughs> I was expecting like him to do something kind of cool, but then she just like totally went off. Hey, you're not Charlie Brown character. The cool thing about these characters is that they're just intermixed in the city. And you're just walking by and all of a sudden there they are, hanging out. Hanging out with you. We've got Lucy and Linus and Schroeder and all of them down here. And uh, Sally and Marcy. Peppermint Patty, just all hanging out downtown. And they're just mixed in there, a part of the city. It's like Charles Schultz left his mark on the city of St. Paul and Minneapolis. We haven't gotten to Minneapolis yet. There's a bunch of Minneapolis too. The Twin Cities, folks. Cool. Let's see what else we can find. Here's one at the Minnesota Children's Museum. We got Snoopy and Woodstock. Yay, we got Woodstock again. Hanging out in kind of a fancy outer space looking doghouse. Hanging out. Let's take a look. hanging out. Lucy. Looks like kind of like a, a Holland, like a Dutch kind of feel to her hair. It's got a little flowers in her hair. It's a lot of action downtown today. Awesome. On a Segway. Cop on a Segway. Meow. There's Paul Blart. Paul Blart. Speaking of Paul Blart on a Segway, I think I better get back to my car. I think my time's up on my parking meter. Oops. There she is. Assumption Catholic Church. That's where Lucy is. All right, gang, we are saying goodbye to St. Paul. We are heading towards Minneapolis now. Let's go. All right, this next one is Charlie Brown. Um, in here. It's, a, it's a home, it's a, it's, I believe it's an old folks home, it looks like. It's in a very quiet neighborhood. We're still in St. Paul, kind of the outskirts of St. Paul, not too far away from where the Minnesota State Fairground is. 
I'm just gonna walk in here. I don't. I think it's open to the public, so um, he's just right out here on the patio. He's really cool. I think this one might be my favorite. Where's Charlie Brown? He's right there. Dirty from the, the, the summer. I mean, the winter needs a spring cleaning. He's looking a little bit more like pig pen. <laughs> There's a little hair piece in the back. Veterinary Medical Center, 1365 Gortner Avenue. The small animal hospital. There's Chuck with his beagle bites. Snoopy snacks here. Ooh, are these actual real? Nope, those are fake. St. Paul, kind of in between Minneapolis and St. Paul. We're on the University of Minnesota campus right now. And of course, that was Chuck and Snoopy just hanging out in their area there. Kind of a, a funny thing about Charles M. Schultz is that he thought that words that began with the letter B were funny. Um, so that's why it's Charlie Brown. And that's why Snoopy is a, a beagle. And that's why Schroeder plays Beethoven. He just thought that the B sounded good and it was kind of funny. So. There you go, a little inside information about Charles M. Schultz. There she is! What should we do? Look at your hat. I know you like my hat. It's my Charles Schultz hat. It's my Charles Schultz hat. <laughs> I have a Charles Schultz hat. And I have a Charles Schultz hat because it's an army hat. He was a cadet in the army. It's a cadet hat. And I did not know that. And also Charlie Brown wears a brown hat like this in the the the, 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 the Christmas episode. <laughs> nice. So that's why I'm wearing my new hat. I kind of look hipsterish, don't I? It's kind of like yeah. a hipster hat. You do. I like it. I'm I gonna prefer, keep it. I prefer this to the trucker hat. I, I like it. I'm gonna keep it. I like it. It feels very Minnesota to me. It feels very Minnesota. <laughs> I just did an episode on the Peanuts characters. Oh, thank you. On the uh, Peanuts characters around St. Paul and Minneapolis. So I'm ending it here. Oh, nice. Eating some donuts because I was sad because I couldn't find any in Minneapolis. I found a bunch in St. Paul. But donuts make me happy again. So. How much are you doing? Great. Thank you. 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 Flirty Frenchie. Yeah. Oh my god. You gotta have a bite. Back in the uh, St. Paul area, I said fooey to the Minneapolis area because I could not find any Minneapolis. So I came back to St. Paul and we got a cute little hockey, little hockey Snoopy over here. 
Freeman. There he is. He's got his little skates on. Dedicated, of course, to the American hockey team that won against Russia in the Olympics. The, uh, the, mir the movie Miracle, based on those dudes that won. A little tribute to them. Sweet. guys are going green. Green energy. Notice my car in the background parked illegally. That's okay. I love how they got this like green energy thing right next to this gigantic smoke stack. Where to now? Where are we going now, hon? These are all the rage now in St. Paul, Minneapolis. These bike bars. Dude sits right there and drives it and everybody sits at the bar and pedals and makes it go and gets drunk. <laughs> Sounds like fun. All right. Ashley just mentioned something about what we're doing is that it's kind of like looking for the hidden Mickeys. If any of you have ever, ever done that at Disneyland or Disney World or whatever you've done it at, the hidden Mickeys, it's kind of like Kind of like that but they're hidden all over st paul minneapolis and so we come around the corner and we're like i don't think it's here i don't think it's here and then ah, there she is so cool we're at the american red cross center and she's a little nurse lucy the nurse cute you know one of the cool things about charles schultz and i think it's just amazing i mean besides the fact that is his comic book it ran from like the 50s through the year 2000. Um, his comics just ran in like 2,600 newspapers across the country. And the the night before his very last comic strip, that, that they, they stopped being in all the all the newspapers, 2,600 2, newspapers. The night before, the peanuts kind of stopped being in, in the newspapers. They they basically they called it quits. The night before that happened, Charles M. Schultz passed away. And it's just like, it's so like, it's it's almost, I don't know, poetical, I guess, but I mean, it's just, it's probably the way it should be. He just poured his whole life and soul into these little cartoons, into these little guys. They were they were all a part of, of him and his life. And and these little characters are so cute. It's been so fun today, just going around town, just looking for these guys. And, and when you find them, it's just like, ah, there they are, because you never know if they're gonna be there or not. Because there's been like four or five that I haven't been able to see or something. So when you actually see them, it's like, yay. But just kind of thinking about Charles Schultz and what he meant to so many people, what his characters meant to so many people that, I don't know, it's just been really cool kind of kind of seeing them all the day. I don't know what to say. What do you say about, about somebody who's, whose characters have lived on for this long? I can remember as a kid, uh, you know, uh, at Christmas time, always looking forward to watching, watching um, you know, Peanuts Christmas, Charlie Brown Christmas tree, and Charlie Brown Christmas, and then of course Halloween, like it's the great pumpkin Charlie Brown, and then there's a bunch of other ones and stuff too, and, and Lucy, and they're all based on different parts of his life, and I don't know. It's cute. <laughs> really cute. Anyway. It's getting late. Well, we got Snoopy, St. John's Hospital. This little bear welcome thing. Thanks, Troy. <laughs> I like Woodstock sitting on his belly. That's cute. Okay, I gave me directions to where the Lucy one is, so we're gonna go to the Lucy one, say bye bye, bye bye Snoopy one. We're gonna go over here to the main entrance to find Lucy. That will be our last one. Oh, sad. The last one of the night. 
I have been looking for these characters all day. I spent the better part of my day off filming these Peanuts characters for you guys at home. But also because Charles Schultz deserves it. He was a good man and his little characters brought a lot of joy and life to this planet. Cute. Last one of the night. It's an I Love Lucy theme. Cute. You can see her name is Lucy and lots of hearts. Aww. <laughs> Which is funny to see on Lucy because she was the one with like the big mouth. Yay! Cute. Okay, I got it. Like a stained glass Jesus cross. Cool. I like it. We'll say goodbye then for this episode of Matt's Rad Show. It was a fun episode. Let me turn my camera so you can see Lucy a little better. My sweetheart. My little sweetheart, Lucy. You know, she had a mouth on her, but she's a sweetie. We love her. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Matt's Red Show. I literally traveled all over St. Paul. Didn't have as good a luck in Minneapolis, but there's still lots of them in Minneapolis. There's just, it's hard to find parking in Minneapolis and it's hard to tell exactly where they were. By the time I got there, a lot of them were closed and some of them were indoors. So maybe we'll have to do another video just for in indoors Minneapolis. But it's from all of us here at Matt's Red Show, my camera, tripod, Lucy, and my wife Ashley, who's in the hospital right now, just going to use the restroom, like you do. I'm probably gonna do it right now after this. Um, thanks guys for watching this episode, and most importantly, thank you Charles M. Schultz, wherever you are, my friend in heaven, shining down on us. Thank you for your characters, thank you for your life, thank you for the, the love that you showed us with your cute little characters. They, they really brought a lot of joy to this world and this life, so. You demand, Charles, you demand. Um, and that's about it. It's really quite something that the, the night he passed away, so crazy, the night he passed away, the day afterwards, they stopped running this strip. Kind of blows me away. Crazy. I'm still blown away by that. Bye, Lucy. I'm just blown away that the night that he passed away, the day after that, it was scheduled for his penis characters to stop running. It's just crazy. So they ran his whole life from like 1950, to like 2000, it was like February something 2000. And he passed away literally the night before they were scheduled to end. Yeah. It's like fitting though, I think. Uh, anyway. Anyways, from all of us here at Mass Retro, thanks for watching guys. Appreciate it. Have a good night, or a good day, or a good morning, or a good afternoon, or a good evening, or whatever time of the day it is for you. Alrighty guys, that's it. Watch some of my other episodes. Okay, bye.